Hey guys, welcome back from another video from TDL DIY. So uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, doing a dump and flush on your uh, transmission. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty quick, pretty simple. Uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't take that long really, uh, maybe half an hour. Yeah, it's pretty quick. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Uh, it's pretty, pretty quick and easy. So uh, uh, the air box, you're going to have to remove this to get to your uh, your dipstick. And then we're gonna go underneath and uh, there's a big floor pan. We're gonna take that off and we're gonna have access to drain the transmission transmission on a 2013 Mazda 3 Sky Active. Now there's a difference because the Sky Active takes a different transmission fluid and I will show you which one. For the Mazda 3, there's two different uh, transmission fluids. Both are transmission fluid. This one is for the Mazda, at least my Mazda 3 Sky Active. Now, I would confirm and check with your Mazda uh, dealer to confirm that this is the right for your vehicle, right fluid for your vehicle. This, on the other hand, does work for a Mazda 3, and it works uh, for my brother-in-law's 2010 Mazda 3. He's got a 2.5, I believe, um, and this is what he uses for his uh, power steering and his uh, transmission. This is what we're going to use today. Give your VIN to them, check it up, and they'll, they'll tell you which one. Because if you just say, oh, yeah, yeah, I have a Mazda 3 uh, 2013, they might give you the wrong one. It's, I'm not saying that, that they're going to give you the wrong one, but if you give them, the, give them your VIN, there's no way they're going to get the wrong one because they're going to look up what actually goes for your car. So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna jump at her, guys. So since we're doing a, a dump and flush for the transmission, I think it, we're gonna lose about uh, about three and a half liters, I think. Or, yeah, we're not doing a transmission flush. We're just doing a dump and fill. Um, there, there's a there's a two big differences, and uh, I even talked with the parts guy um, at Mazda, and that's that's a lot of time what they do. It's just a dump and flush, or a dump and uh, dump and drain, or drain and fill, whatever you want to call it. Um, the flushing is with uh, the equipment and it actually pushes all the stuff, uh, pushes new fluid through it and I think that takes about like 8 liters or something like that. Anyways, uh, we're just going to drain it, put the plug back in and top it up. We're not going to get all the transmission fluid out of it, but we're going to get about 50%-ish and as long as we keep doing this every so often, um, everything is going to run just perfectly. I've already done this once on our car, um, on my wife's 2013 Mazda here. Um, I think, when was the last time I did I think around 60 or 70,000 kilometers, and I'm at 120 now. So it's been about double double that, so we're going to do it again, uh, just to make sure everything's good. You know, uh, the recommendation time I think is probably around 100,000 for your first one. I went early uh, because it never hurts to put new fluid in and uh, do it earlier. So it always hurts when your fluid's bad and then you're replacing it. So it's always good to do it early. Um, that being said, you know, I don't think it costs that much. I'm gonna double check how many I got. I think I got five quarts or five liters, um, or just shy of five, five quarts. And I will give you a price uh, in the description and probably on the, on the screen somewhere at some point. So uh, yeah, we're gonna jump at it. We're gonna box the air box and we'll show you how to get to the, the dipstick. So a tool you're gonna need is a 10 mil socket. This, this vehicle loves 10 mil, so uh, that's what we're gonna use. And I'm gonna use, a, you can use a, a ratchet wrench if you want, or a, however, you, just a regular wrench for some of these, but I'm gonna use a drill to, to make it a lot faster. So first we're gonna uh, disconnect the mass air flow sensor, boom. I've already unclipped these, but you can get underneath and just, uh, all you do is pinch them underneath and then push them up with a pair of pliers. Works out just good. So we're gonna loosen this off. Perfect. I'm gonna lift up, twist a bit and pull it out. Just like that. Now, uh, first time taking this off, guys, 
you might have to get a flathead screwdriver and just pry a bit on the sides to, to get this rubber off, but that is, that's how you get it off. Put it aside. Get your air filter out of there. See your air filter. Uh, now, we got two screws here. I'm gonna tr try just taking this one off and see if it'll come out. You gotta have to disconnect this piece here too. Sorry. Oh, just right here. You're gonna have to disconnect this. Just a couple clips. Pull up on. Perfect. And the other side, yep. Get rid of this little hose. Once that's out of the way, then it's gonna take uh, two hands to get in there. You're just gonna pull up. There you go. So all there is is these, uh, just uh, push tabs, two of them. They get they get seated into a rubber grommet, so it actually takes a good bit of force to, to pull it up. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. But right where my finger's pointing is where you're gonna have to, uh, to get to. There we go. So yeah, right there, that's where we're gonna be getting there next. There we go. That is our dipstick right there. So, wipe that off, we'll put it back in so we don't dirt and debris in the transmission. And that's where we're gonna fill it, guys. So we're just gonna plug it back up. light but it, that's your uh, transmission and I think it's an Allen key that's your uh, transmission uh, drain plug so we are going to uh, get a bucket and uh, drain it All right, guys, that's pretty good. Just gonna wipe it up and get the plug back back in. Just gonna tighten that down, not too tight, but you know, get her a good. She's gonna be pretty snug. So uh, now we're gonna take this out, measure it. Here guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. You can kind of see a bit of a blue tinge on the outside here, a greenish blue tinge. Um, it is gonna be blue when I pour it in, but as you can see, it is, I'd say pretty dirty. So it's, uh, it's a good time we're gonna change it out. And uh, it's not changing all of it, but it's changing most of it. I'll probably do another uh, a dump and flush in a couple weeks or something, and that should take care of it. So yeah, just wanted to show you what it looks like. Okay guys, uh, I got my uh, transmission funnel in there. So all I gotta do is uh, pour in, we're gonna pour in a 
about four liters came out. Check the color when this comes out. Look at that. See, it's blue. Forget your part here. Clips you gotta put in, boom, boom, and your sensor. And now we just gotta tighten that up. Which I hope is done well. And we just wanna slide that up. There we go. So we're gonna do a couple seconds, about 20 to 30 seconds per gear. We're just gonna cycle it. We'll go all the way down and then all the way back up. So that's, uh, that's it guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And uh, you know, if you want, share. You know, there's uh, lots of people out there that maybe could benefit from this. Uh, show your friends and family, or uh, just a random stranger. Anyways, thanks guys, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget, never stop learning.